Welcome to Ren Sport 6 WeatherTech Raceway in Monterey, California. I'm Patrick Long, and uh, we're going to take a little walk through the Chopar Heritage Display. Um, there is no shortage of amazing Porsches here this weekend. It's a little bit of sensory overload. It's Thursday, so it's still early, but um, to my left and to my right, Penske 91710, 91730. Not more legit than these two cars right here. Um, Mark Donahue's name on the 91730. This might be the most iconic Porsche race car in my mind ever. But let me show you a few more uh, that are earlier and had huge significance in Porsche's history. Come on. So Type 64, um, really where it all started, pre-Porsche if you will. Um, this car is where it all began with Ferry Porsche, 1939, uh, molding it from the start of a Volkswagen Beetle. Um, as we move through uh, the 1951 Le Mans SL, um, it's based off of a Gamund, uh, the first time that Porsche had a victory at Le Mans in class, and really what started it with motorsport uh, and, and why I think we're still in motorsport today. 911 ST, famous in rally, and in road racing. Um, if you see a lot of hot rod Porsches on the road, they really use this car uh, as inspiration, the flares, the wide body, um, but really legit. This one driven by Jurgen Barth, who has a huge, huge history in Porsche Motorsport. Um, RSR, Hurley's RSR from Daytona, Brumos 59. Uh, this is where really uh, Hurley and Brumos sort of came out of their mold and, and stamped a huge branding concept in, in what they did and all the lineage in motorsport. Um, 917K, of course, famous from the movie Le Mans. Um, the, nothing screams McQueen more than a Golf 917. Uh, this car is a 1969 example, the number nine. There's a few different ones. You can usually tell uh, the history of it based on uh, the number on the side of the door. Uh, 550s, 908s, 910s. Um, for me, we'll jump forward. Uh, this car is the 917 PA, uh, really one of the earlier 917s, naturally aspirated, which uh, you know I love. Uh, such a beautiful car, and not one that you often see. Obviously, open top, um, but yeah, th these were pr progressing between the U.S. with Can-Am, and of course in Europe with a different rule specification. Um, all these silver cars to my left, uh, 718 RSK, um, 550s, what does it all mean? What are all these numbers? This is legit, pure Porsche talent. Um, this is taking speedsters off the road, running them uh, and evolving them as we ran uh, basically in Southern California on airstrips. Uh, when you think to James Dean, uh, even McQueen uh, in the SoCal spirit of Porsche, uh, it all started with uh, some of these small 356s. Um, as we progress down, 936, uh, Hurley's 935, just insane liveries, Martini livery, Brumos liveries. Um, I'm going to fast forward up to a couple of 911Rs. Um, you know, only 20 made. Uh, these cars were rallied, ultra lightweight, uh, just raw, naturally aspirated. Uh, this LaRousse car is just absolutely crazy. 1967 was the original 911R. It was Porsche's first a uh, real lightweight racing machine. Uh, 9106, another really, really famous 1967 911R. This one has a really famous livery. I believe this comes out of uh, the collection from the Ingram family uh, based in Durham, North Carolina. Oh man, I'm talking fast because I'm so excited about some of this machinery. Um, 910s, really small, uh, lightweight, naturally aspirated, pre-917. Um, you know, this was when it was really evolving. Prototypes were just new. Uh, they called a lot of these cars the plastic cars, uh, 904s, 906s. A um, couple of two-liter cars. Uh, and then, of course, um, this car I've had uh, the honor of driving. Mr. Canapa threw me the keys to this. Um, this is one of four 911R prototypes, so pre-release uh, cars. Just such an angry engine and a perfect, perfect dialed-in chassis. Um, 804, 1962, uh, this is the car that we had at uh, Luftgekult. Of course, Dan Gurney, uh, the driver who took this to the French Grand Prix and Solitude uh, Formula One victories for Porsche. Uh, huge, huge honor to have Dan uh, tied into 
everything that this car stands for and uh, obviously we think of him uh, at this Rennsport. Uh, just an unbelievable uh, story of Porsche and, and Gurney.